Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about vanilla. So now let's get straight to it. Vanilla means little pot in Spanish. The word is derived from vanilla, the diminutive of the Spanish word vina that means sheath or pod. Vanilla is the only edible, fruit-bearing plant of the orchid family that are native to southeastern Mexico. There are more than 150 different varieties, and the majority species is vanilla planifolia. Until the late 19th century, Mexico had the monopoly on growing vanilla. Today Madagascar together with Indonesia is the biggest world producer. Each year, about 1,400 to 2,300 tons of dried vanilla are produced worldwide. Vanilla plant grows as a vine. The vines can grow 30 to 50 feet tall, supported by a host tree or post in a plantation. A vanilla plant can take years to mature. Did you know that vanilla plants are pollinated by a very specific species of bee native to Mexico in nature? As melatonin bee could not live anywhere else, the flowers have to be hand pollinated. Each day, vanilla workers pollinate about 1,000 to 2,000 flowers using a little stick as soon as the flowers open. The flowers last only one day and must be pollinated or die. Once pollinated, the plants produce roots that are shaped like pods. The fruit reaches its full length of about 20 centimeters in four to six weeks, but may take up to nine months to mature. Mature pods that are dark green in color are ready to be harvested. However, fresh vanilla beans have no taste or aroma without the curing process, which must start within 24 hours after the harvest. Curing is a process involving fermentation, sweating and slow drying. The process takes six to nine months to release vanillin with its distinct aroma and flavor. The beans shrink dramatically and eventually resemble the oily, wrinkled, dark brown vanilla pods we are familiar with. Five kilograms of fresh vanilla pods are needed to get one kilogram cured vanilla beans. As the entire process of cultivation, pollination and harvesting is time-consuming and labor-intensive, vanilla is the second most expensive spice in the world after saffron. Did you know that vanilla bean farmers will tattoo their beans with small markings during the growing season? This practice is common in Madagascar to prevent theft and protect their investment. Vanilla is often described as earthy, subtly sweet, aromatic with warm and floral notes. However, just like grapes that make wine, no two vanilla beans are the same in flavor, aroma, or color. Quality vanilla beans are fragrant glossy dark brown or black in color. The tiny black seeds are scraped from the pod with the point of a knife to be used in cooking or to make vanilla extract. Because true vanilla extract is expensive, synthetic vanilla is made from wood pulp and coal tar as a substitute. They are cheaper and have similar scent as pure vanilla extract, but have no health benefits. These days, vanilla is widely used in foods and beverages, especially in the dairy industry. And vanilla is still the most favorite ice cream flavor in the US. Also, vanilla is used as flavor enhancer to complement other substances, such as chocolate, caramel, and coffee. Adding vanilla to tomato-based foods can reduce the acidity of tomato without the use of sugar. Other industrial applications include the flavoring for perfumes, candles, and medicines, and as fragrance to conceal the unpleasant odor of rubber tires, paint and cleaning products. Did you know that in some cultures, vanilla was a sacred medicinal herb? It was used to heal and soothe hysteria, rheumatism and low forms of fever. The smell of vanilla is also known to induce calmness, expedite healing, improve acne and promote hair growth. Also, it is believed that vanilla is a natural insect repellent. Mosquitoes and spiders do not like the smell and vanilla beans are used to drive them away. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.